Hey guys, here's a free item here for you today, the Wimbledon Hawk. It is another free UGC item here in this Wimbledon event. So this is what it looks like when you wear it. You can see my arms up with the band hammer, so it's sort of sitting on my back right there. So the game is Wimble World. I've got the link in the description of the video so you guys can go to the game. And uh, once we get in here, there's a little bit of a scavenger hunt. Yes, the good old scavenger hunts. We, we're never getting tired of these scavenger hunts in these games, are we? Anyways, see these pigeons right here? We're gonna have to collect 10 of them. So that's the first one. This is the main area where you spawn. So the second area we're gonna go is this little camping area called the queue right here. So you can see there's the second pigeon right there. Uh, so basically we're just gonna kind of follow along where I'm going in this video. And we're gonna find the 10 different locations here. Uh, there's a shop there on the left. You can see we're gonna go into the shop. And then here on the right side, inside of the shop, we can see we've got another one of these pigeons right here. So uh, th this is a pretty small map overall. So in order to get this, probably take you maybe three minutes total, just the walking around. So right here between the like goals sign, you can see we've got the fourth pigeon right there. So in this little area, there's actually two of them. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really walk on the tennis court in the middle, which is kind of a bummer. It'd be kind of nice, a little quicker to be able to just walk across that. But anyways, here's the fifth one right there inside of here. And so there's a second one that's inside of this area, just around this little staircase over here. You can see number six is right there. So we're going to grab that one. And now we're going to go out and get the remaining ones here that are available. So uh, let's see, we're just going to move forward here a little bit. And then to the right outside of here, you see this set of tennis courts. Uh, in these tennis courts, you can see back here between the last two on the benches, we're going to find another pigeon right there. So there's pigeon number seven. So the rest of them, we're going to have to kind of go over to uh, this other tennis court area over here. Uh, so you can see right here, this little set of tennis courts. There's another one hidden back here, sort of in the corner. I wouldn't say hidden. These are all pretty easy to find. It's a pretty small map. And without this video, you could probably actually figure it out pretty quick. It wouldn't be that difficult to do. So uh, here we go. We're going to get pigeon number eight right there. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the next one over here. So we're back into this area where we had to mow those lawns. I mowed the lawns. I don't know why the grass is back. Anyway, so you can see this one up here on that sign. Uh, trying to jump. I missed the first time, but then you can see right here, I just jumped sort of close to it, and then I was able to get it. So that one's not too difficult. You just sort of jump close to it, and you're able to get it. So uh, now the last one is right here behind this little uh, setup here, this little stage. And then once you get that, you can see we've got the badge, and then it says we've got the treasure hunt complete, and we've got that item in our inventory. So we will have the hawk for catching the pigeons. I'm not sure how that makes sense, but anyways, we got a hawk for finding all the pigeons. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and thank you for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.